Welcome to Shepherd's Week in Review. Lots of style to show you this week. So we talked about uh, the pleated dot skirt on Wardrobe Wednesday. We've got like 10 different ways for you to wear it. And then Kirsten showed us her new boyfriend. It's the boyfriend jacket and it's on a new segment called Wear It Your Way. Fashion Friday is all about new looks that will take you into the upcoming season. And on Shepherd's Coffee Talk, we're talking about human sex trafficking. So hope that you enjoy the segments and show up the collections up here. Welcome to Shepherd's Wardrobe Wednesday. We're back in front of the camera because we want to talk about an essential for this new spring season. This is a must have. You've all seen these knife pleated skirts are all over the runways in the fashion magazines. And we think we've got the number one skirt out there because we scour the market, don't we? We go to all the shows, we try on everything before we buy it because we want to make sure it works on all body shapes, sizes and heights. So this is from Joseph Ripkoff and it is the knife pleated skirt and it's in a dot, which we think is a great neutral. It's a classic. Everything goes with the polka dot, which you're going to see in a minute. So we have it both on Elaine and Sandra because Elaine's 5'9", it, it works for her, it's below the knee. And Sandra, who says she's 5'1", five 5'2", five sometimes, I don't know where she gets that extra inch, but, but and uh, it's a great length on her. But ladies show how it's elasticized at the waist. Oh, yes. So you know, you can go for that buffet. There's yeah. uh, lots of stretch there. It is kind of a chiffon um, fabric. Mm -hmm. And you know what, it doesn't wrinkle. So it's so packably perfect. And it has a little, um, liner underneath it. So again, everything works on this. And why I like this knife pleated skirt is that there is no bulk around the tummy or the hip. It just lays flat. So it still has a knife pleating. So it has the look. So here it is. Elaine has it on with a biker jacket mm -hmm. in this electric blue. Tell us about it. Well, it's fun because it's a mix of different fabrics and it's it's the classic moto jacket, trendy as well, with the trendy skirt. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a mix. I like how this these grommets are taking kind of echoing what's happening with the polka dot in the skirt. There's a lot going on, which is why we kept it to a basic, very good turtleneck from Sandwich. Again, as you can see, we didn't add much jewelry, just a little bit of an earring. But again, how really works with this little jacket. Now you know, Sandra's taken it corporate with a nice little black jacket from Joseph Ripkoff. Lots of stretch here, Sandra, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice Great. little jacket just to the hip bone, has some ruching right around the sleeve and popping it with this pink turtleneck. So it's the same manufacturer. It's by Sandwich. You have it in black, Elaine. Yes. Sandra's wearing it in this um, pink shade and we've added a belt. Now this is a Susie Rohr belt. One of our favorites. I love Susie Moore belts <laughs> because they're, they're Canadian made, they're Italian hardware, Italian leather, but she really makes a belt that makes sense in your wardrobe. It has stretch and you can really put it anywhere. If you want it a little bit tighter, all you do is this. So a great, great basic. You're paying a you know, higher price for them, but they last forever. So this is this beginning of a, a great wardrobe builder with this polka dot knife pleated skirt from Joseph Ripkoff. So you're going to see it. We're going to show you a different ways in that you can wear it. Sandra's put on this sweater from Sandwich, but I love this splash of color with the black and white polka dot skirt. Makes it very new and youthful looking, yet could be corporate or it could be for a date night. I like also how you can sort of do a little half tuck on that sweater or even as we've done with the skirt, sort of taking up one edge a little bit just to give it a bit of a different fluidness to it so it has sort of a high-low look. For those dramatics, dot on dot makes a big impact. So this is a shirt dress from Joseph Ribkoff that can be worn on its own, done up, and it has its own self belt. But here we put it over the skirt and the turtleneck to give you that layered look. So it has that long duster look, very fluid, very dramatic, great entrance maker. 
must have in my books for spring, winter, fall, whatever season is a cashmere topper. I just think they add so much depth and variation to your wardrobe. And here it is on a topper over a white shirt. How classic is that? Yet your arms are free. You can still work at your desk or go to dinner. It really adds a sense of style and panache to any outfit. You know, black and white is hard to beat. It's always a winner, and we've done it two different ways here. So on Saturday, we've taken a more casual look with this great sweater from Eileen Fisher. Very collegiate. It has that lovely look, um, kind of nautical look, but this is a black with a white stripe. Again, but the balance is right here. So go ahead, mix the prints because it works very well here because one is a small print and one is a large. Again, with um, Sandra did a little, little bit of a half tuck here just to give it some newness, but if that's not you, you could just wear it out like that. And it has a super look with a great uh, suede necklace with a real um, freshwater pearls. So sort of a terrific look with your little booty. Love yeah. it, got a nice swing to that. And then Elaine is taking it corporate. So a great black jacket from Ribkoff. Lots of stretch right to the um, hip bone here. And again, with a powerful white shirt. Nothing beats a great white shirt. This is from Foxcroft. It is a non-iron, completely washable. It has a great strong collar that you can flip up or down. And it comes with a three-quarter sleeve. With again, with nice detailing on the sleeve that you can turn it back. So very comfortable, wash and wear, no ironing. And look at this skirt can take you anywhere. Now Elaine is wearing this beautiful cardigan from Eileen Fisher. Now it's an alpaca blend, but it's the new longer length and it has the heavy cable, but it really gives a very kind of collegiate but authoritative look to it. Great for a workwear outfit, just worn with this knife pleated skirt and the black turtleneck. Here is the polka dot skirt, the knife pleated skirt, all dressed up, ready to go to an event. And you look dramatic. You've just changed your shoe. Nice high heel, a beautiful kind of chiffon top, a little sexy, and of course you've belt. So you've taken the belt from the shirt dress yes. of Ribkoff, which is a solid black, or take any belt. And um, you've just added it with a again a dramatic the statement earring, which again is on trend, and I love the little bag. This is a super bracelet That's bag. Right. Yes. You just put it on and you can still have your wine or yes. you can taste. And uh, you've got a great look for an evening out. Style up the pleated dot skirt for corporate wear. Add a moto jacket for fun. Wear it now with a chunky knit sweater. Double up on the dots with a duster or add a little bit of luxe with a cashmere topper. All pieces available in store and online. Shepherdsfashions.com Hi, I'm Kirsten. I'm here at Shepherds and I wanted to show you one of my favorite finds of the season. It is this fabulous boyfriend jacket from Liverpool. The minute I saw it, I knew it was going to be a great style pick. What I love about it is that it has this loose, boxy feel. So it's great if you go up a size. So don't worry about it being a little bit big. One, you're gonna layer it, and two, it's meant to look a little big. I love it that it's a jacket. Jackets are still on trend for coming into spring, going back into fall. Huge, huge trend, and I love that I could wear this from spring right through the summer. I can wear it with my dark blue jeans, medium colored wash jeans, or I could even wear it with a white jean and a sneaker. I'm gonna style it up a few different ways so that you can see it, but it really is a great pick. And the best part, it's only $135. So it's a great trend at a great price. And here's what makes up a great casual elegant look. So you've got your boyfriend jacket, if you want to pop a little color, a scarf is a great way to do that because it brings in this gorgeous red. I paired it with a darker uh, up jean, which is very comfortable, and a little bit of a kitten heel. And I think you could wear this to work and you could wear it out to dinner. So just to show you the versatility of this blazer, I've paired it with the Bryn Walker Wide Leg Pant, the Eileen Fisher Linen Tank, and put a straw bag with it. And this is a great piece to bring on a holiday. You look dressed, but you're comfortable, you're casual, and even a little easy breezy. So now I've paired it with my white up jean and a white tank from Eileen Fisher. This is the linen tank. And I think this gives it a nice crisp base, just a little jacket over top. 
and the heel, but I'm going to show you the sneaker with this too to make it a little more casual. But if you want a little hack here, this is a hairband. So it's the old scrunchie that you put in your ponytail, which I would absolutely use, and it comes with the little scarf, and I've tied it on my wrist. So I've left my same favorite boyfriend jacket on, the Eileen Fisher linen tank with my white up jean. And I, this time I rolled the jean up, I put it with the sneaker, and the scarf scrunchie that was on my wrist is now in my hair. So tell us what you think and wear it your way. Welcome to Fashion Friday. Things are arriving every single day, boxes and boxes of new things for spring. So today we're going to have a nice lineup of items that you might be going down south. Could be Arizona, Florida, or the Caribbean, mm -hmm. or it's early spring. Now Stephanie's wearing this great chambray pinstriped, it's kind of an oversized tunic dress. Yes. But Stephanie's 5'4", so it's a dress on her. Mm -hmm. Right, knee length on her. It's that classic shirt dress that you will always have in your closet. It's a cotton blend. The colors are bright. I love it. It's a navy with a white look at the pockets mm -hmm. um, it has the the little cuff that you can uh, flip up like this mm -hmm. um, now here you have it yes. you put it on with jeans because uh -huh. it's too short for you for a dress exactly so I like that kind of an all blue scenario you know the color of the year Marlene is blue it's a very soothing color and so you're gonna see a lot of different hues of this great coloration Mm, mm. from Shannon Passero. It just arrived and we really loved this uh, fabric here. We teamed it up with Eileen Fisher. Mm -hmm. Their silk um, uh, tunic top and their, their, uh, their crepe, crepe pant. pant, which is the one thing. But look at this. You could go to a wedding in this Most, easily and then yes. imagine how you can wear this over and over and rearrange it with all kinds of things in your wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So it's a kimono style. It's a cotton, 95% cotton with a little bit of stretch to it. And it, it has the look of a silk dupioni when you look at it. It's metallicized, the print is, mm -hmm. with those French blues and that kind of anthracite color. It's very, very interesting abstract print. It's a simple tunic, this one with the pocket. And then we've matched up the two pieces together. So the kimono jacket, and the tunic, again with that Eileen Fisher base. Great little, great little set that you could mix and match, mm -hmm. wear separately or all together. But it does tone back to charcoal beautifully also. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this just came in from Shannon Passero, yes. and this is running out the door. We love this cotton. It's 100% cotton made in Thailand. But again, it has all the right things here. That nice soft cowl neck, mm -hmm. um, sleeveless, but again, the tunic hiding what we want hidden. And this beautiful coral teamed it up with a wide leg pant. Um, and that, you know, some people like a wide linen pant, great going south, have that sort of internal um, air conditioning. Yes. Uh, but then some like to wear it with a tight jean. Mm -hmm. Here you're wearing it in that beautiful lime and you've done the pull-up jean from up. Yes, yeah, so it's kind of a streamlined look. Um, I. The, the fabric here, the content feels so great against the skin and it's cotton on cotton. So it's it's just a great look. Again, from Shannon mm -hmm. Passero, I like this jacket. And this mm -hmm. is a little cami that uh, Primal has layered underneath it. You'll see it yes. closely in a minute. Mm -hmm. But loving this black and white. Again, it's a heavy knit, mm -hmm. um, all cotton, but I love the dolman sleeve teaming it up with just a wide leg linen pant. Mm -hmm. It's a one button piece, very architectural, very modern in its design. And here's a better look at that kind of knit tank top, if you will. And again, Primal has layered it with a little Eileen Fisher tank top underneath. The wide leg linen pant from Bryn Walker. This is now, I'm wearing, as you can see, same cardigan, different coloration. Bryn Walker pant too. And we're gonna show you this pant styled up a few different ways. This is a cotton blend. It's not linen. It's actually, yeah, it's bamboo and, co and organic cotton. Wonderful. Which makes it very nice and comfortable. But yes. it's a perfect blend with this sweater, this stripe. Mm. So uh, it has that sort of very sophisticated, elegant look. Yes. But this is the little um, cami, mm -hmm. knit cami, 100% cotton knit to cami, yes. bra friendly. Uh-huh. I'm wearing it. So, you, you know, it, it's kind of open under the arm, which is fine, right? If mm -hmm. you're off on vacay, you want something again that's, that's airy, breezy, and this is great. So same pant again on Sandra, and she's wearing it with a Bryn Walker t-shirt. So it's it's that neutral complexity. It's very, very elegant and very lightweight, easy to wear all at the same time when you're looking for comfort. Look no further. It's here. 
And it comes in black also. Mm -hmm. So here's the same pant, new Nellie and Millie top that just came in for spring. Uh -huh. Take it down south or you're all set. You can wear this now. You can wear this with a like a really sort of brown or right. a darker colored or, or even denim. And I've got it with the new Helen Kaminsky I, bag. I know we're very excited because the Kaminsky hats we've been carrying for over 25 years. This is the bag that goes with it. It is perfect. Mm -hmm. It has a little leather strap on the inside so that it doesn't rub or hurt anything on your shoulder goes underneath the arm, has a little magnetic closure uh, mm -hmm. on the inside, makes it secure. But inside there is one pocket to put mm -hmm. your phone or whatever. It's a perfect tote bag. Yes, just big enough to carry everything you want. Now this is a super one size piece. Hope you can tell it's a, it's in a soft pink coloration. It comes with its own necklace, so it's accessorized for you. It's um it's got a soft drape, doesn't it? It's kind of a it's a one size and it's really an oversize. Yes. Um and you know Primal's a size ten, mm -hmm. and she's coordinated it with a matching pant. These are all made in Italy, ninety five percent cotton. Now we must tell you the pant really only goes to a size ten. It is a one size, but only goes to a size ten. But the top that can go up to two X. Yes. Again, lends itself to a scarf. Here we've mm -hmm. picked a perfect little scarf to add a little bit of color. Wear it your way, and you'll notice that same Helen Kaminsky bag um, on Primal. Now she is wearing my favorite piece, the wraps. So this is a piece that you can tie up different ways. It's a bathing suit cover up if you want. Wearing she's wearing it here with that same pant we that she just had on. Mm -hmm. um, so this is day to evening. If you're traveling, it takes no space in your suitcase. Oh, it doesn't, the, it's practically perfect. It doesn't wrinkle. It's mm -hmm. made in Canada, and there's all kinds of styles on the online. So, so this is another top that came in from Shannon Passero. Uh -huh. I like it. it's a bit of a waffle print to this. Yes, and, and it has, actually is a poly viscose uh, blend. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm liking the pockets again. It's doing all the right things. Nice lines to it, mm -hmm. and you've teamed it up with a white pull-up jean here. Well, the, you know, it just adds to the brightness of this look. And now, this is a, a tunic you could wear now, Four Seasons, as is this new Nellie Millie. So it's that stripe. You're, we've got this in two colors. We'll show this to you. It's kind of a violet against the, the bright white. I mean, pieces that will never, ever, ever go out of oh, style. Oh, classic. So, you know, a stripe like this is classic. And this is a rayon poly blend. Mm -hmm. And wear it with a wide pant here yes. and a linen, or you saw it with the straight-legged uh, pull-up. Uh, jean. So it's whatever you prefer. Whatever you prefer. Linda really likes it with the wide leg and it's a personality and once you wear it, you own it, you can tell you feel confident in it. Let's talk confident dressing here. So this is the pleated dot skirt on Stephanie. We featured this on our Wardrobe Wednesday segment. We wanted to do um, a kind of a, a career look with this. So we added the Tattersall print uh, sandwich blazer, long lines on this and the running shoe. It's everywhere. You go mm -hmm. to New York, you go to Europe, everybody's wearing the running shoe. To work, in the corporate wa offices, it really is the go-to. You, once you, you discover comfort, you can't go back. So that's my question. Would you be wearing running shoes, mm -hmm. going to work with your corporate look? Um, we'd love to hear from you and you could have a chance to win a $50 gift card to Shepherds. So please join us here at shepherdsfashions.com or in our store at the train yards in Ottawa. Welcome to Shepherd's Coffee Talk. You know, there's a lot of amazing organizations in the world that help a lot of people, but there's a very special one we'd like to concentrate on today. Well, Marlene, I remember talking with Marsha Wilson from St. Joe's Women's Center about this project she had, and it just gives me shivers mm -hmm. head to toe. When somebody tells you about an idea they have, and then it happens, mm -hmm. it's called A New Day, and it's a residence for people who have worked in the sex trade who want to find some guidance and maybe some stepping stones to a brighter future. Sharon John is our guest today. She is one of those people who has had this life experience and now uses her story to impact uh, other people's lives and to help other people have hope and believe in themselves. It's really remarkable. So Sharon, can we talk a little about what A New Day is all about and how many folks you have living there and what you do? So A New Day is a restorative program for survivors of human trafficking. Um, it's trauma-based. So we work with the ladies and their trauma. There's, um, the program is absolutely beautiful. There's no judgment. They have support in all aspects of their life. Mm -hmm. uh, they have addictions, trauma, art therapy, music, 
Um, there's so many programs in there and everything is all in one place. It is a safe home for them. Mm -hmm. They're supported by staff 24 hours a day. Right. Now, your experience, I think that that's the impactful piece for us is to hear about what happened to you, how your life got turned around and you became part of this human trafficking um, and then eventually found a way out, which is a miracle. It is, and it, um, it happens, so I find that some people's view of who are targets and who are affected are a bit skewed, sorry, mm -hmm. um, but it can happen anywhere. Uh, my trafficker I met at a wedding reception, and this is somebody who I thought that once we got to know one another, and I, he introduced me to family, his mother, I, at a point of time, fell in love with him, and I thought we were going to get married and have kids, but he had a whole other plan. Okay. Okay. And leaving him at the point that uh, I was able to escape him, being in that environment, it's, it's very challenging when you're trying to escape and you just run into so many of the other wrong people. Mm -hmm. And I ran into another man who I thought was going to help me as well because that was the promise, but his plans for me were to have me work and that's how I ended up here in Ottawa. I left him the same evening that he brought me into Ottawa because he threatened my life and at that point I saw an opportunity to run and I ran. Mm. Wow, but how frightened must you have been? Yeah, it, it was terrifying mm -hmm. and thanks to a taxi driver who I didn't know Ottawa, um, mm -hmm. my, it was my first time here and when I left that man's vehicle, I ran and there was a taxi driver in my direction and he heard this man yelling at me so when I got into the taxi I told him you need to take me somewhere safe and he took me to a shelter, to a woman's shelter wow. and that's where my journey, like my healthy journey wow. began. I went, How old were you at this time? I'm 50. No, but at this point. At that happened. point, I was, I would believe I was 29, mm -hmm. 29, 30. Mm -hmm. How about that? You said you didn't imagine your life that you would live beyond that age of 29-ish. No. Yeah. So it is a blessing. Mm -hmm. I am yeah. very grateful and thankful to be alive today. Right. Mm -hmm. And I guess there are layers upon layers, too, that go along with this dark world of human trafficking, you know, addiction and alcohol and ways to cope with what you're experiencing. Yes, so that, that uh, complicates things. It does, it numbs. A lot of traffickers um, do force drugs and alcohol on a lot of young women and men um, to get them to do what they want them mm -hmm. to do on top of the psychological and the emotional there's mm -hmm. also that piece. So coming out, young women and men, on top of their trauma, they have mental, emotional, and now on top of it, they have addiction issues as well. And addictions and was part of me right. as well. So how did we get to this new, this organization called The New Day? How did you are working with this organization now? Yes. So my bosses, Jody Mosley, David Clerkery, and Wendy G is the executive director of mm -hmm. A New Day. Um, they had a vision in our transitional homes with Stepping Stones Foster Care. It was seen that some of our young ladies were going through some traumatic situations with men they thought were their boyfriends when we realized they were traffickers. Mm -hmm. And uh, my bosses, realized that they needed a home for survivors of human trafficking that um, deals with that issue. So when they come through the door, there's not, we know, we already know why you walk through our door. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a safe place yes. for somebody to begin the next chapter and being around people such as yourself who can really relate to that trauma must be comforting to people in some measure coming into a new day. For some of the young women I've had, uh, it's given them some comfort, mm -hmm. which is nice to know. Mm -hmm. I am glad that uh, I, I myself receive support 
-hmm. and people, there was no judgment, there was a ton of support, and people saw something in me that I couldn't see in myself mm -hmm. at that time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to be able and to give me that mm -hmm. and to help encouraging me and motivating me and helping to move me forward into a healthier life, mm -hmm. that was a blessing. Yeah. And it's, it's wonderful to be able to give back. Well, and give back at a new day as well as through foster care for mm -hmm. young ladies. And you mentioned to us just before we started recording that younger and younger and younger girls are, are being becoming affected. victims of human trafficking. Yes. Which is terrifying. And, and here in Canada, Canada. We, don't, we don't think it's in our backyard. Well, and uh, it's here. It's here. Yeah. Yeah. It's here. And we need to get that awareness out there mm -hmm. and let people know what are signs to look for. Um, what are signs to look mm -hmm. for for parents, grandparents watching who might uh, you know, be able to use some advice um, from you? Just a few, change in behavior, change in friendships. Um, a big sign as well is if you have one of your young women or men coming home and now they're in a lot of high-end designer clothing, they do not have a job, they're not finished high school, mm -hmm. they're not maybe out of elementary school, and they have um, Versace and Dolce and Gabbana, mm -hmm. and they have all these high-end clothing and money. You're wondering, that's the time Where to take a from? look. Yeah, For sure, right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Wow, and, and so you have uh, two foster girls yes. in your care at home. Yes. And and the way it works you were explaining is they can have jobs, they they're free to come and go, they, they go to school. Go to school, do whatever they need to do, still have relation with their parents, but they have a safe place to mm -hmm. go. And they have some guidance. Mm -hmm. And some mm -hmm. guidance for yeah. like a mentor to them. Yes. Help them through. You know the rough spots that they have been through or going through. Some of them. How yeah. to navigate them. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's always helpful when we have life experience to answer the question what can I learn from this experience and take that forward? What would you say, Sharon, is the greatest lesson you've learned? Uh, that it is okay to trust people in the community. Um, even though I went through a lot of <laughs> horrific people, not everybody in this world is bad. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of really, really good loving kind beautiful people in this world and to be able to come to a point to touch base and to connect with these people like i said to help me believe in myself yeah. well the greatest gift you've given us is that exactly. that you believe in yourself mm -hmm. and that you're helping other people you're one of those people that you're talking about that can you really know. make a difference yeah. thank you thank you very much yeah thank and you, happy ladies. belated birthday well, and yes. cheers. <laughs> here's thank to at least ladies. 50 more yeah. years yes. all the best enjoy your day